Hi, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to our evening prayer time. Uh, as Candace shared this morning, I'm actually kind of on vacation, although not really because I'm not leaving to go anywhere. <laughs> But, uh, but I thought, you know, uh, she still has a class that she's teaching tonight, so I, I was fine with doing this time with you all um, today. But I'm not going to be all fancy or have any slides or anything today because I didn't take the, the time to prep all of those. But another thing that I did today was that we had our last class for our youth study on Stamped, uh, a book on anti-racism. And it's been a six-week study that we've been doing with the, with, the, with the youth. And it has been so good. It's been so revealing and has led to so much discussion. And so tonight, um, the prayer that I'd like to offer is another one from one of my favorite books, Gorillas of Grace. I've shared with you from it before. Um, and even though it's evening prayer, and we're all hopefully heading to somewhat to a close to the day. This prayer is for new beginnings, and it's specifically new beginnings because, you know, at the end of this study, it's on racism and, and all the discussions on racism, it's easy to get wrapped up in the despair of it, uh, in the cyclical um, oppression that just seems to repeat itself generation after generation and it's like some of the things that we were reading about that had happened in the 50s and 60s and that were that happened in the 70s and 80s were like the same things that were happening today i mean it almost could have been um word for word and so in order to not fall into that trap of despair or apathy or um hopelessness, right? I think it's really important to focus on the future, on what we can do, on the things that we can be. Um, and the truth is that each one of us has that potential to be who Christ intends us to be. We have that potential to, to live in to the person that God uh, would have would will for us, you know, the person that's filled with love and compassion and justice and mercy for each other. And so even though as we come to a close today, I'd like to share uh, this prayer um, from Ta from Ted Loader. Uh, it's called Help Me to Believe in Beginnings. So if you will pray with me. God of history and of my heart, so much has happened to me during these whirlwind days. I've known death and birth. I've been brave and scared. I've hurt, I've helped. I've been honest, I've lied. I've destroyed, I've created. I've been with people, I've been lonely. I've been loyal, I've betrayed, I've decided, I've waffled, I've laughed, and I've cried. You know my frail heart and my frayed history, and now another day begins, or ends. Oh God, help me to believe in beginnings, and in my beginning again, no matter how often I've failed before. Help me to make beginnings, to begin going out of my weary mind into fresh dreams, daring to make my own bold tracks in the land of now, to begin forgiving, that I may experience mercy, to begin questioning the unquestionable, that I may know truth, to begin disciplining, that I may create beauty, to begin sacrificing, that I may make peace, to begin loving, that I may realize joy. Help me to be a beginning to others, to be a singer to the songless, a storyteller to the aimless, a befriender of the friendless, to become a beginning of hope for the despairing, of assurance for the doubting, of reconciliation for the divided, 
to become a, to become a beginning of freedom for the oppressed, of comfort for the sorrowing, of friendship for the forgotten, to become a beginning of beauty for the forlorn, of sweetness for the soured, of gentleness for the angry, of wholeness for the broken, of peace for the frightened and violent of the earth. Help me to believe in beginnings, to make a beginning, to be a beginning, so that I may not just grow old, but grow new. Each day of this wild, amazing life, you call me to live with the passion of Jesus Christ. Amen. We have a chance of a new beginning every each and every day each and every day and it's not that the past is erased but God uses that uses each of us exactly where we are even in our brokenness even in our non-perfectness um, and you know even in our church that's not perfect and our country that's certainly not perfect, um, there's, a, there's a new day tomorrow. And uh, I pray for myself for that willingness to just be open, a willingness to start again, a willingness to say, you know, this day, this is who I'm going to be. So I don't know who you were today, but that today's over, or almost. Um, you know, you might have a few moments to uh, kiss and make up with your family members if, if today's gotten a little out of hand. Um, but tomorrow's a new day. And so I pray that for, for this middle of the week time, that, you know, you don't have to start over on Monday. You can start over on Thursday. So God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.